Hi, my name is Tommy. I'm a service engineer of the company Highwood Prüftechnik Dresden. Together with our partner JDR Cables from the United Kingdom, we are here about more than 100 kilometers off the coast in the North Sea to test newly installed 66 kV array cables of an offshore wind farm. Highwood provided the test system and is now supporting the installation and commissioning as well as HV testing on site. Hello, my name is uh, Tony Dalmau. I'm in charge of the offshore project management for the resonance test in this uh, wind farm. My role in the project is to follow up the testing and coordinate interfaces with uh, other contractors such as uh, scaffolders, interarray cable contractors, export cable contractors for any potential clash on uh, operations, and uh, mainly HCC or electrical safety representative of the final client. The main components of the test system are located on the roof of the offshore substation. To reach the cellar deck where the array cables arrive, an HV cable running from the roof alongside of the substation down to the cellar deck. The cable to be tested is connected to the connection point there via joints. To get the test system offshore, the main equipment had to be certified by DNV. For this particular project, we are living in a jacket vessel. What this jacket vessel it's a self-elevating vessel equipped with uh, four legs. And once on location, the vessel is just raised to uh, the required elevation above the sea surface, supported by the seabed. It's a 100% fixed vessel. No, not from our experience. So the vessel slightly moves based on winds and uh, waves, but compared to a floating vessel, it is much more stable. You have to imagine that when a top site is installed, several contractors will want to have access to a top site for different parts, such as transformers, high voltage GIS, medium voltage GIS, control and protection, export cable, interarray cable, top site outfitting, and the most important contractor scaffolding. Even if all activities have been defined in preliminary stage procedures by all contractors, clash of operations can't be avoided. Main clashes are due to uh, the lifting operations, scaffolding, and room. So, dozens of cable cores need to be tested in this project. But to do so, weather can be a real challenge and may lead to downtime even for several days. Weather may limit the access to the offshore substation, but even if there is access to the substation, still the test could not be performed due to the weather. In this project, we have faced uh, different challenges, such as lifting depending on weather, lifting clashes with uh, other contractors, uh, being depending uh, on uh, on scaffolders. Scaffolders have revealed themselves as uh, the heart of the substation during the initial weeks.